Hi, and welcome to another video in the series on the Key Studios uh, sensor kit. We've been going through this kit, and the instructions uh, are hooking it up to the Arduino. Um, I got a question yesterday would this work with the micro bit? So I uh, decided to uh, switch gears a little bit, and as I'm doing these videos on the Arduino, also try it on the micro bit as well. So the sensor that we're going to be looking at today is the ultrasonic sensor. So if you're not familiar with this, um, the ultrasonic works with sound waves. So it will send out a signal uh, on one pin and then receive a signal back on another. And it uses the, the, the timing between those two to determine how far away an object is. Okay, so let's move over to the wiki. We have a picture of it and here are the specs. And this is a, a five volt sensor and the micro bit is three volts, um, but we're going to go ahead and try it anyway. As long as we're going down, um, it, it may work fine. So um, we have a connection diagram, and this, of course, is for the Arduino. Um, but the concept is going to be the same. We have power and ground, and then we have a pin for the trigger, meaning it's going to send out the signal, and then uh, another for the, the echo, which is going to get the signal back. So let's go over and uh, hook up our micro bit. I'm using a Kitronic motor board. This is kind of a handy little board. I, I didn't have a header for the micro bit when I started this, so, um, but I did have this motor board that we're using for our, our TinkerPie robot right here. So it uh, will control the wheels on the robot. And then you can plug it in the other direction and use it as a, uh, a header or, or a breakout. You can only use one or the other. So w when it's facing this way, um, the, the motor board is, is not going to work. But it's still a nice little board. You can use it for a dual purpose. So i um, got that plugged in. I'm going to snap that in here. And then we'll go ahead and power up the micro bit. It's uh, getting its power through the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to hold the sensor the same way as the diagram, just to make it a little easier. So the black one is first over here. And then we have uh, blue. The blue and the green kind of looks the same. <laughs> and then green. And then red for power. Snap that in here. Okay, now we're going to improvise a little bit because um, we're going into the micro bit instead of the Uno. But uh, basically, we're going to do ground. And then the Three volt is the fourth pin over. Then let's go ahead and plug the green, which is the echo into that 16, and the blue, which is the trigger into 15. Okay, let's go back over to the computer. And I am remoted into the Raspberry Pi using VNC. You could uh, plug this into your, your PC or Mac as well. So um, I'm going to cancel out this. Just a screen that comes up when you plug your micro bit in. So what you're going to do is open up your browser. And I have mine set to bring up makecode.microbit.org, so you want to uh, browse over to that site. Uh, this is a site that will allow you to program your micro bit using blocks. Okay, so we're going to start with a blank project here. The first thing we're going to do because we need uh, a special plugin to work with the, uh, the ultrasonic sensor. Click on the gear and then add package. 
I'm going to type in sonar and hit the search button. And when sonar comes up, you just hit the, the big box. And it's going to take a minute here, but it's going to put a little sonar uh, group in here. Okay, so if you look at this, it has a puzzle piece, which means that it's expecting to plug into something. So we have to do some kind of trigger. Um, so let's just do something simple. We'll go into input and we'll say when on button A is pressed. So when button A is pressed, then we want to um, show a number which is the, the number that the sensor is going to send back to us. Okay, then we're going to click on sonar and pull this little puzzle piece over. And uh, it, the ping is going to be the trigger. So that was pin, the blue pin was uh, 15. So I'm going to click P15, the echo is 16. And for the units, we'll select inches. And when we uh, press the button over here, because this is a simulator, so it will allow you to, to test things uh, before you actually download them to the micro bit. So that's working. I'm going to name it. So I'll just call it ultrasonic and download. That is going to download into your uh, downloads folder, no matter whether you're on the PC or the Mac or the Raspberry Pi. And I'm going to click done here. Okay, uh, if you're on a Mac or a, a PC, you can just drag this file. If you go to downloads and you got the hex that just downloaded, you can just drag it over. But uh, I found that it's best with the Raspberry Pi that you open up another window and then you go down this little. Um, folder right here at the bottom. Open that up and go to media, pi, micro bit. Okay, and then just drag it over to that directory. So uh, that's going to reboot the micro bit. Okay, so I'm going to turn it so that you can see it. <clears throat> so when I press the A button here, I get a 14, so I'm 14 inches away. I use my hand. So zero, two, eight inches, six, two again, one. So now you could attach this to your robot and make sure it doesn't hit the wall or tumble down the stairs. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.